Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner and today is the YouTubers Nail Art Weekly Stamping Club and I am the host, I'm hosting it this week. So it is going to be Let's Be Mermaids. <laughs> yep, you guessed it. Anything mermaid or under the sea related. So that's going to be really fun. So dive down in the depths of the ocean with me and let's take a look at the manis that everyone created for this. Don't forget to check out their YouTube videos in the description box below. And I'll uh, show you all their pictures, follow up with mine, and then I'll show you how I created it. Uh, created it. <laughs> so let's get started. I just thought I'd give you a sneak peek at the behind the scenes <laughs> of my video. So when I go to make this video, because it was going to be so involved, I actually planned out everything on swatch sticks with little fake nails that were actually the same size nails as mine so that I could get the um so I could get the size and the image and everything perfect for when I go to actually do it on camera and then also I was playing around with the wording you know what did I like best what color what background um that kind of thing so you know I was playing with a lot before I actually got it on my fingernails for this um, particular video. I hope you enjoyed this messy sneak peek. I'll be using Wave Gel's Cobalt Glimmer, Snow Ice, the Top and Base Coat, and there's a 10% off in the description box below. I'll be using Del Sol's Mermaid Lagoon, which actually was a special polish in their Polish of the Month box. And I have hit the bottle. I Dream of Greeny. And I also have for stamping Color Clubs on the Rocks, Amethyst by Bundle Monster, and um, ugh, Straight Up Black <laughs> by Bundle Monster. <laughs> And then I've got um, this Bundle Monster plate. I'll be using um, a couple of inches on this one. And I also have my Uber Chic Mermaid Life plate. And I'll be using this. I've got a dotting tool, my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper, and some pearls. And I'll also be using some um, gems as well. I have two coats of Snow Ice and Cobalt Glimmer on my nails, and I also have a No um, White Top Coat. So I'll be using this Uber Chic Plate, and I'll be using this Mermaid right here. I love this mermaid. She's got curly hair just like me. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to boink my stamper on it so I get an amazing pickup. 
it's kind of the trick with this one and I'm just going to get as much of the mermaid girl as possible on here just gonna clean up a bit of the black stamping polish and I do know that I could have shrunk her but then she'd be really hard to um to she'd be really hard to color in and there is a smaller image of her on there but then again the technique that I want to use is just I I wanted a bigger image on her so I'm just going to clean that up and then we'll go on to the next part next I'm going to do her tail right here and for that I'm going to use my amethyst stamping polish do is take a little bit of Mermaid Lagoon, stick it on a tin foil, then I'm going to take my dotting tool, Mermaid Lagoon's not closing, there we go, I'm going to take my dotting tool and color in the mermaid's tail. Now this is a sun color changing nail polish and it will change from blue to purple in the sun. So it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to take the very fine tip and go up towards the little point of the tail. I don't want to get out the lines. Oh, there we go. That is so scary right there. Okay. Build up the color a little bit. Okay. All is still good. I'm not getting outside the lines. Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I'm just going to wait until it gets a little bit tacky. And then I'm going to stick it on my finger. Waiting for that to dry a little bit. I'm going, my mermaid should be nice and dry. So I'm just going to lightly float on some top coat here to seal her in. We can color her. I think it's a little tacky. I think I can get it on here. So let's hope for the best. I've only ever done this two times in my entire life. And the first time was a practice and it worked. Oh my gosh. Got a little bit of um I don't know 90 something percent <laughs> isopropyl alcohol. I've got my um holiday cheer and my misty blush right here, and I'm going to color in the mermaid. And I know you've seen this technique before. I also have a little fresh spot of um the blue the mermaid lagoon, and I'm gonna do that one first. I know you've seen this technique before, but that's because I was impatient and I wanted to share it with you. But this was the real, this is the real thing. <laughs> this is what I really wanted to use this technique on. And I wanted to be able to wear it when it's nice and warm out. I've been thinking about this design for like a year. <laughs> and I have never done it. Well, actually, I just got the plate on Black Friday. But the other plate I had. Okay, so I'm just going to swirl the alcohol in the nail polish a little bit just to break it up and make it a little bit more translucent. And if I need it a little thicker, you can just play with uh, play with it a little bit.
And if you get too much, like I got some on the black line right here, you can just take the pure alcohol and just wipe it away. There we go. There. Okay, I think I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and cure it right now. I'm going to color in her hair, but you can see how her tail turned purple already. And her top a little bit of purple. Maybe we'll just, I may have to make that a little darker. So anyways, let's, uh, let's color in her hair. I'm going to use the same technique. Dip a little bit of alcohol in the red. And then I'm going to color in her hair. Okay, I'm just going to finish this up, and then I'll come back and show you it when I'm done. I got her where I like her, so I'm going to cure that and come back. I added a little bit of Capricious Island and um, Cobalt Glimmer onto the tin foil, and I'm going to do the same technique, and I'm going to color in the water and sky around the tail. I, did not, I chose not to put another top coat on because I just don't want this nail to be really thick with a bunch of layers of top coat. I'm already regretting that decision, not putting the top coat on, because I'm seeing that this sky is a little bit more dense than what I wanted. Ugh. And if the alcohol runs on my stamping polish, I am not going to be happy. So, I would recommend... <laughs> Not doing what I just did, if you're going to do this, and put that layer of top coat on. I got that where I like it. Now I'm going to color in the bottom with Cobalt Glimmer. Okay, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Okay, now I'm going to cure it and then we'll come back and do some more. <laughs> now I'm going to be using On the Rocks for this word, The Mermaid Life. Great pickup. And I'm just going to put it right here. I'm going to use. My hit the bottle. I dream of greeny, and I'm gonna get this seaweed right here, and I'm going to put the seaweed on my pinky finger right here, like that. We're gonna let the thumb in on the fun. And I'm going to put some seaweed here. Oops. And some down here. There we go. Okay, I made this little decal. <laughs> My gosh, I'm going crazy here on like so many firsts. Um, so I hope this little guy just sticks right here where I want it. And it's also made with the sun color changing nail polish. Okay, now I'm going to put um, top coat on. Oh, I thought that something was funny with my decal. Okay, um, so I'm going to put some top coat on.
and then I'm going to put a little um, little pearl. I'm going to try to put a little pearl on here. Oh my goodness. There. And since this is on my thumb, I'm just going to go cure this really quick or else it's going to slide right off. You can see that uh, shift in color. Ooh, I just love that. Okay, so now let me, um, I'm going to put top coat on the rest of my nails. Okay, and on this one, I'm going to put a pearl. And on um, this one, I'm going to put a little pearl. And I have a little crystal here. All right, now I'm going to go and cure this, and I'll be right back. I'll give you a close up. So here's the finished look. I've got decals on my thumbs, and over here I've got another decal and some gems, and Bitch I'm a Mermaid and Mermaid Princess. And here's what everything looks like in the sun. Now the little decals are sun changing. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.